our mission is uh, a future without the burden of cancer, without people having to worry uh, about the implications of cancer, um, that we try and prevent people from getting uh, cancer in the first place, and that they get the best possible treatment. At 27 I was diagnosed with cancer. Um, the type of breast cancer I was diagnosed with was um, HERTS2 positive. So um, that meant it was quite an aggressive form of cancer, but it also um, provided the opportunity for me to have various different types of treatments to you know, hopefully attack the cancer. HER2 positive carries a protein on it called HER2. And there's a drug called Herceptin which can attack HER2, and Herceptin has been really successful. However, an issue with Herceptin is that some cancers stop responding to it. This is called resistance. So we took the drug Copanlisib and applied that to cancer cells together with Herceptin. And what we found is that cells that had become resistant to Herceptin start responding to Herceptin again when you combine the two drugs together. When we run trials in Ireland, we run them through ICORG, the Irish Clinical Oncology Research Group, and ICORG is a large organisation which hires a lot of people and you know it costs money to pay those people and pay their salary and you know running these trials involves not just getting access to new drugs which is important but also getting access to funding. Without the Irish Cancer Society support I don't think that Naomi and I would have been able to progress the research to the point where we're now ready to able to offer the drug to, to women with breast cancer in a clinical trial. That funding acts as seed funding to get projects off the ground like this, which can evolve into bigger projects that attract um, funding from overseas, like from companies like Bayer. Most PhD students don't get to see their results go on to become relevant to patients, and that's not to say that it won't, just that normally it takes a very long time for drugs to get into clinical trials, so it's fantastic for me to actually see this clinical trial happening before I finish my PhD. Research is absolutely essential. It's key to hopefully eliminating cancer one day. Um, you know, without funding from the Irish Cancer Society, these discoveries can't be made. These are absolutely essential. You know, my own experience of having Herceptin, to me, I really believe that saved my life. We're very excited about this clinical trial. The Cancer Society's motto is we won't give up until cancer does and really that's just perfect, that perfectly sums up what we as researchers feel, we won't give up. This research is really important because it brings um, uh, real advances for patients, it brings the potential for hope that things will get better, that we have better treatments with less impact for patients, that we can get better cures and ultimately that's what we're looking for. In aid of breast cancer, please paint it pink this October. Paint it pink this October. Paint it pink this October. <laughs>